Thanks for stopping by. I'd like to preface this video by saying it is not a knitting tutorial, but today we are going to peruse some pattern books. Well, just one. <laughs> Sorry if I got you a little bit excited there. Um, so I am in the middle of transitioning between a couple projects and getting ready to show you guys one that I've worked on for a long time now. So in the meantime, we are going to just pick up where we left off with some pattern books. I have collected a quite a, not a ton since we last did this, but I've decided to not show you guys some of the catalogs that I got in the mail just because they're so old now, but a pattern book never, well, I wouldn't say never gets old because we looked at some really old patterns uh, before, but if you are inclined to see what else we have looked at so far, check out my pattern perusing pattern books playlist where I have some videos already if you're new here and want to see what we've looked at all uh, at this point. So this you can see is Petite Presence by Knit Picks and in a little while I'm going to have an upload of my 2020 and my 2021 goals slash New Year's resolutions, depending on who you're talking to. I could call them tasks or goals because I don't like to commit. Um, and so resolution sounds too permanent to me. So a lot of those goals that have um, become repeats have been, or at least one in particular, has been to knit small. So when I saw this pattern book way back when I bought it, I was like, hey, this might have some inspo I need to continue to look at little de-stash projects, yarn busting projects, and since they're presents, uh, some inspiration for future holiday gifts that I have planned. So this video for this Wednesday is just going to be us browsing this pattern book and looking at some things that really make us feel like we want to add it to our to-do list. So let's go ahead and take a look. And this is copyright 2016. Ooh, so here we have the Kimberly cowl. This is knit with Caparita wool, fine merino wool, and it's using size 4, 24 circulars, and 2 pairs, plus a spare DPN needle or size to obtain gauge. I'll need to look up what is um, Caparita. Is it DK, perhaps? Because I do have a little bit of DK left. I don't know if I have enough for this, but I might. I might. Ooh, black and white clutch. Now, I haven't done anything where I would need a zipper or how to attach a zipper. I'm a little bit scared of that. When it comes to hardware, and I've seen so many cute, like, bags, satchels, um, any kind of accessory that has a closure, I have thought they look so cute, but... Just the attaching the fixtures to it kind of intimidates me. So I'll skip ahead here. Ooh, this one's cute. The cherry, or sorry, cheery Amelia hat. This one is Wool of the Andes, Highland Wool. Oh, size 8. I'm assuming this is worsted then. Because a size 8 US needle is about standard for worsted. I have I have worsted out the wazoo. I think I could, it's going to be a really wonky looking color story. But I definitely have enough to be able to make a hat like this. And I'm going through these quickly because, because this is a purchased book. And I don't want anyone to get in trouble, especially me, for making the hat. But you can see a couple versions of it here. Solid or striped. So here we have the color word convertible mittens. Now this, this is what I want. 
Um, I love fingerless gloves. I love a convertible mitten where I can do my millennial texting and still be warm at the same time. Let's get a closer look here at these minus the glare from my overhead light but i love the little the little hearts that are detailed in here very cute i honestly let's see what kind of wool or what kind of yarn all right so we still need that capretta i'm not sure i need to look up what is that what is that gauge or what is that weight taking a closer look here I hate bending this, but we are going to do what we're going to have to do. Yay! I think this is why I bought this book now that I think about it. <laughs> There's like another Knit Fix book that's about cats, and I'm like, ooh, yes, please. Mini kitty poof. Of course, if I don't need enough pillows, as you guys know, my, my background behind me in most of my videos where I am facing you, is full of cute cat pillows and what's another two or three or four I would love that I'd love to just have because my partner wants to get rid of the futon that I use in here and if I had just chairs full of cat pillows I'd be fine with that Gus wouldn't have anywhere to sleep but they could probably use all of the pillows as the mattress itself there's just the details of the ears well, this is nice simple piney ridge necklace let me know in the comments if you have worn a yarn necklace or have made a yarn necklace or yarn jewelry in general as i um i'll mention to you guys later but i am doing like a my favorites for 2020 and shout out to clay and crochet because I've purchased six pairs of very cute earrings from them and uh, some of them are mixed like clay and crochet some of them are just clay some of them are just crochet or macrame I guess if you kind of look at it and yeah, crochet there and macrame there I guess but um, that's not all of them those are just some and that's as far as I've gone myself. I have not made anything for myself like this. But let me know if you have or if you have gifted it to somebody else. What do you think of yarn jewelry? It's definitely a good stash buster, that's for sure. Here we have the rooted cable hat. And if you hear some weird noises, it's actually, well, one, it might be my stomach because it's 8.30 and I haven't had dinner yet. And then two, the way I'm standing over this tripod, my flip-flops keep sliding around on the floor, so it's making some weird noises too. But this looks crazy. This is also, okay, this is very clear. DK, I actually have some swish that I've been using for my never-ending partner sock. <laughs> This is swish, but it's sock weight, or uh, fingering weight, and I've been, this is actually going to be an upcoming video where I keep working on this one, but can you tell me how long this has been? This has been, what, at least a year that I've been working on that? Ooh, zigzag mittens. These are knit pick swish worsted okay now that means it's gonna go by fast so that's nice i love the colorways i'm a fan of like anything blue but then this like cute corally baby pinky color is really nice with it as well more details those are looking pretty cool Ooh, sunshine diamond wrap. That's interesting. And this is fingering weight gloss. So that means it's going to take a while. The smaller the yarn, the longer the project. But it looks really nice.
I'm not even like, I like yellow, but I don't like it like that, but that's cute. Ooh, ooh, this is cute. Well, I don't like the colors, but Juliet bag. Oh, oh, okay. I know stroll. I think stroll is fingering weight only. I have the pattern book that um, is from Knit Picks and it's like 12 months of socks and they use stroll a lot but I don't think they specify like which one so I think stroll is just fingering which I do have some fingering left of various socks that I've made as you guys know after that amazing video where I showed you all my socks I was so proud of that video. <laughs> I was up so late editing that video. I didn't go to bed until like 6 Sunday morning. Well, actually today, the day I'm filming this. Because I had to piece together everything and find music and make sure my voiceover synced up with the images. It was, it was like the most editing I've ever done on a video. I mean, not that I do that much, but that was like, whoop, what an accomplishment. Anyway. I have lots of fingering left over now because I've made all those dang socks. But this would be so cute. Like my cousin's daughter, it'd be so cute to make her like this little bag and put like lip glosses in it or nail polish or something because she's like a girly girl. Um, or even something cute like um, erasers. I've been looking at some really cute erasers just to give them something more like school, fun school supplies. Because eventually they will be back in person. So cute fun school supplies when you actually have to write a paper in person with pencil <laughs> nice little quick or yeah or use it as a something for me hold my stitches and stuff or uh, stitch markers now these sierra mitts i think i saw these when i was browsing what patterns were available in here and i would make them a little bit shorter but the concept is cute i definitely like the pattern. I love this color. That Capretta again. I really need to look at what the heck that Capretta. What is that weight? Because I've seen several um, versions. Capretta. I've seen it listed at the four. I've seen it listed at the three. And here it is being used with the two. So uh, what? what is that yarn weight? But that would be a fun project for a friend or something. New York cow. Oh, cute. Kind of like taxi, right? Because the checker of a taxi and New Yorkers ride taxis a lot and it's yellow like a taxi and the checkers. That's cute. I get it. I get it. And this is also using stroll. No specification. So I'm thinking that it's the fingering weight, like sock weight yarn. That. Now here's the cover photo. Swell hat. Very interesting. Also Capretta. So I think they're definitely trying to get you hooked on this Capretta. And this is using one. So it's all over the place. What is Capretta? Tell me. Oh, that's a pretty purple. I love that. Casaloma shawl. Knit in Galileo. US 6. Maybe it's DK. Maybe it's Fort. Considering that there's eyelets and things and it's kind of drapey, maybe it's DK. So that's pretty. That would be a fun little project. Well, kind of a medium-sized project, I'd think. Molly's hat. Knit picks, brava, bulky. Ooh, yes. Oh, you don't see me. I'm going like this, like, yeah, yeah. Because that means it's going to be a fast project. And one thing I mentioned in my video that I'm going to have uploaded later about some things I've loved in 2020 has been bulky weight yarn. <laughs> Knitting my uncle's socks was so fast. Such a breeze, really enjoyed that, and bulky weight, you know, you gotta bust through a project fast, that's where it's at. 
Daisy slippers. These are knit picks swish worst. Oh, there's the rest of the page. Knit picks swish worst brights. So that'll go by fast. They definitely look more like anklet socks, but because it's worsted, it's a thick. So yeah, that would make sense. These are winter blooms. Something makes these look really retro to me. Palette yarn. Very nice. <laughs> uh, counting sheep clock. Super cute. Wool the Andes. I like this. Mirror, mirror, Mobius. This is Lindy Chain, Pima Cotton, and linen. Okay. Again with the nice yellow. Perfect for spring. Very cute. Looks like a simple project. I mean, sort of simple, but not really simple. Transition boot cuffs. Do you guys wear just boot cuffs? I don't, but let me know if you do. Or like leg warmers. They're very cool looking though. Woodmer mitts. Again, fingerless. Yay. Now that's like what, intarsia? That's scary. I'm so scared of color work, guys. I know I shouldn't be, but it's scary. You think by this time I would be advanced enough to do color work like that, but I'm like, if it doesn't stripe itself, I don't want to touch it. I'm just not ready. Triacle Mountain Hat. It's cute. It has like these little bobbly looking things. Lots of texture. Again, Wool of the Andes, but this one's in Superwash, so there you go. I like the color. Ooh, and they got the different color work going. <laughs> Chevron Wine Cozy. My wine doesn't last long enough to have a cozy bottle, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but I guess, you know, if I'm gifting somebody else some wine. Ooh, this one's kind of interesting. Letter. I love the different layers. This is that Capretta again, but this is in US 5. Hmm. Hmm. Must be such a versatile yarn where you can use big, small needles. Weather mug cozies. You got the rainy, sunny, rainbow, snowflake. And this is in Swish Worsted. These are super, super cute. Like what the patterns look like. Ah, here we go. Kapowski leg warmer. I don't know about leg warmers. I suppose they're, they, I mean, obviously they have a function, but I don't know. I usually just wear two pairs of pants if it's really that cold out. I like this hat. Mainly, I like the teal right here, <laughs> but it does go really well with that pink. That pink and teal, that's like a good color combo. Cute photos of it. Woohoo! Garmon socks. These are in Stroll. Yeah, Stroll is like their designated sock weight yarn, I think. Also love the colors. Oops. That's one thing I haven't done yet. Um, I haven't made anything with a uh, opposite or like a accent cuff collar or not cuff cuff heel or toe. I 
have not yet. Chronix Cow. Ooh, it's risky doing something in cream. I like dark colors, because then if you have some problems, then whoa, look at that chart. Holy cow. That, yep, yeah, I'm all about the written stuff. I can't read. Moss Bank Headband. Nice and simple. Oh, wait, what kind of yarn is this? The Big Cozy. I think this is super bulky, honestly. I mean, that is a big stitch if you think about. In comparison to her head, that has to be. And then we have your chart at the end. Very nice. Well, let me know which um, which pattern or patterns really called out to you. Do you see some? Oh, oh. would you look at that? Paws and pearls. You're so stupid. <laughs> It tells you right here in the back of the dang book what kind of weight everything is. So, Capretta is fingering. I would not have guessed that. Oh, and I lied. I have palette yarn. This is, this is palette. But, I will say I used Swish for my brother's socks. But I used Worsted when I made his socks last year for his gift. So, a Swish Worsted. Wow, who'd have thunk it would tell you what the weight is in the back of the book? Oh well. See, this is why I'm going through it with you guys. But yeah, let me know if there is a pattern that you were like, yes, I want that. Or if there was one you're like, yeah, I already did that. Or I found something like it on XYZ. I'd love to know. So thank you for this uh, extra interesting Wednesday video changed it up we've been doing so many socks i'm glad that i could do something else and move into the next year with some other projects so we'll see you soon bye